Hey guys, welcome to another lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, for today's lesson, we're going to dive into Illustrator, and uh, I'm just going to be making a, a very quick uh, vector flat landscape, um, and I'm going to kind of be talking you through my process as I'm designing it, uh, and uh, this will help you a lot with uh, your assets you'll be creating for your Animate project later in the year. So let's get started. <clears throat> So I'm going to start by uh, just designing a very simple tree uh, that we could uh, then uh, repeat and use uh, a few times in the tutorial. So I'm going to start by selecting the square tool. Uh, I'm going to click a nice green for the tree. We're going to do no stroke. And let's just draw a square. I'm holding down shift as I'm doing that. Actually, I don't like that green. It's a little bit darker. That's better. Uh, I held down shift as I was drawing that rectangle. Therefore, it's a perfect square. And then I'm going to go to the direct selection tool, grab that, grab that top anchor, put it over the middle, grab that anchor send that over to the middle as well so we have a triangle. Okay, let's scale that down. I'm gonna hold shift as I'm scaling to keep the proportions. And now I'm gonna make a copy of this. I'm gonna hold down alt, drag this triangle down, and it's gonna create a copy. All right, so what's gonna do is hold down alt and drag. It will copy the object. I now wanna scale this up. I'm gonna press alt and shift. That's gonna scale it up from the center to create the second part of our tree. Now we'll do the same thing. Hold down alt, drag that down, alt, shift, and scale that tree up. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we got the start of a little pine tree there. Uh, I'm now going to select all of these triangles here. We're gonna go over to the Pathfinder tool here on the side, and we're gonna unite these into one solid shape. Excellent. Now, uh, because we're doing a, uh, a flat art style, um, I actually want to uh, have uh, two tones colors in this tree here. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to draw a square that's gonna cover up half of the tree. I'll change the color of that square so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Then I'm going to select both of these objects and I'm going to go minus front and that's going to take away half of the tree. <clears throat> I'm then going to take this part of the tree here, hold down alt, drag it over, create a copy. We're going to right click on it. We're going to go to transform, reflect, and we're going to reflect it on the vertical there and drag that over. So now we have a tree. Looks the same as it did before, but we have two separate halves for that tree. I'm going to select the right half, double click on my fill color, and just make it slightly darker to create that two-tone look. Excellent. So let's make the trunk for the tree now. Let's just select a brown for the trunk. I think that's brown there. Go a little bit lighter for the first half of it. There we go. And we'll go here. Draw some of the trunk like that. Good. Grab this half. Hold down Alt. Drag it over. Take this half. Double click. And just darken it up. Excellent, okay, our tree's done, looking good. Last step, we're gonna right click on it and we're gonna group it together and just kind of put it off to the side. Excellent, uh, next let's draw a mountain. It's the same thing, I'm gonna go to the square tool, select a gray for the mountain, and let's just draw a, uh, a square there. Okay, direct selection tool, let's grab these top anchors, push them into the center again, just like we did with the tree to create a triangle. Um, and then I want more of a, a three-dimensional shape here, so I'm going to go to the pen tool, and we're going to add an anchor point here in the middle. And then we'll go to the direct selection tool, grab that anchor point, drag it down to create that shape. Excellent. Okay, so good start to the mountain. Same thing, let's make it two-tone now. So I'm going to grab the rectangle tool, split that mountain in half, select everything, minus front, grab this, hold alt, drag over, right-click, transform, reflect, Reflect that there, push it together, grab that side now, and let's darken it up a bit. Okay, looking good. Uh, so let's add a snow cap onto this mountain now. Uh, for that, we're actually going to go to the ellipse tool. We're going to select kind of a, uh, a white color for the snow. And I'm going to draw a circle over top of the mountain there. And uh, we're going to use a new tool here called the Shape Builder tool. So I'm going to select all three of these parts. We're gonna go over to Shape Boulder here on the side, and I'm gonna hold down Alt, and that's gonna subtract the top bit of the circle, and then I'm going to add this side here. And what that'll do is now we have there and there, we have our two snow caps. We can take that one and do the same as we've done with everything else and just darken it to create the two tone. Actually, we'll go a little bit darker than that, a bit more contrast, great. Okay, select everything, right click, group it. It's a little bit too big, so let's scale that in a little bit. Um, 
Okay, that's looking good. I'm happy with that. Uh, next, we're going to draw the grass. Uh, so I'm going to select a green here. And let's go for maybe a green like that. And let's, like that. Let's try this here. We'll kind of go like this, down to here, here, and here. Okay, good. And then let's take a darker green. Go back to the pen tool. Okay, now let's take our mountain, drag it down. Okay, let's make the mountain a little bit taller there. Okay, so. Uh, we have our grass here, but what I want to do is actually want to take this mountain and I want to move it forward uh, more into the foreground. And in order to do that, we're going to right click on it. We're going to go to arrange and we're going to bring forward. There. So now our mountains is in front of this hill here, but behind this hill. Um, let's draw a sun next. I'll hold down shift as I'm drawing that circle so it. it Consistent uh, circle there. Let's add a blue background, rectangle tool, create a nice blue for the sky. I'm gonna take that, right click, arrange, send to back. Okay. Uh, you don't need to worry about anything that's outside of the artboard, this box here. Uh, when you export the file, you actually won't see any of that. Okay, good. Make sure your sun's on the correct side to be casting the light where it needs to be. Uh, we can take our tree now and we can actually move it. Uh, to this side of the uh, this side of the image, but where it's behind the hill, it's not really where I want it. So I'm going to right click on it, arrange, bring to front. Let's scale it down, holding shift as I scale, and now we can make a few copies of the tree and scale as needed, depending where they are in the foreground or the background. There we go, that's looking pretty good. Um, let's add a little road down here on the side over here. So I'm gonna go to my lips tool. Uh, I'm gonna select a gray, maybe a darker gray for a road. And I'm just gonna draw an ellipse kind of like that. Move it down, drag that over, put that down a little bit, that looks good. I'm gonna copy that. Good, select both the ellipses that I've done, minus front, and then let's take this and let's send it back behind that hill there. There we go, so we've got the road that's kind of going behind the hill there. And last step, let's add some clouds. Okay, so let's make some white ellipses here. Okay, that looks good, uh, but let's uh, let's give that cloud a flat bottom. So we'll go like that. Oops, before we do that, we actually need to select all of these and unite them with the Pathfinder. Now we can select that and that one minus front. And we got a nice little flat bottom cloud there. We'll put one over there maybe, change it around, scale it down a little bit. Take this one here. I'm gonna put this one actually behind the mountain, so I'm gonna make it smaller. And then maybe we can put one more here that'll actually go in front of the mountain. Excellent, so we're gonna take this. Let's send it backwards behind the mountain. Okay, that looks good. And then we're actually gonna lower the opacity on these clouds. And uh, whatever value you would like to do for that. Just a bit too opaque there. That's better. Excellent. Okay, so as you can see, we're not really using any uh, fancy tools here. So we're just using shapes to build our object. If we press Control Y, uh, we'll actually see what our image is made up of. It's just shapes. Uh, it's nothing overly complicated. It's just how you arrange them. Okay, hope that lesson was beneficial, and we will see you all later. Bye-bye.